Hey guys, good afternoon and welcome back again to your own academy in English channel. My dear students, in this particular session, I'm going to give you four short, short topics on which questions have been asked everywhere in your NEET examination, right? And these are the four short, short topics. So 16 marks in just few minutes. The first one is calculation of nodes, right? Short, short question asked almost everywhere. Question based on Gibbs free energy. Question based on calculation of maximum spectral lines obtained. Question based on equivalent weight of the substance which undergoes disproportionation. So these are four questions which you can expect in your upcoming NEET examination for sure, right? And my dear students, as you know, today there was the marathon scheduled for Ambika ma'am since she is not well, right? So tomorrow she is going to take that marathon. I hope that's okay, right? She has a severe migraine basically. Perfect. So let's get going. Let's get started with the first concept. In order to calculate the total number of nodes, you have one formula, my dear students. To calculate total number of nodes, you have the formula n minus 1, where n is the principal quantum number. To calculate angular nodes, you have the value of L. L is the azimuthal quantum number. To calculate the spherical or radial nodes, this is the formula n minus L minus 1. Short, short question is asked. Now have a look. See the application, guys. If I talk about 2s, n value here is 2. In case of S subshell, L value is 0. So you got the N value as well as L value. If I ask you about the total number of nodes, total number of nodes is N minus 1. So 2 minus 1, that comes out V1. If I ask you about the angular nodes, angular node is equal to the value of L, L value is 0. So there is no angular node. If I ask you about the spherical node, which is N minus L minus 1, N is 1, L is 0, minus 1. So the value comes out V how much? Sorry, N n minus l minus 1. So n here is 2. n here is 2. So 2 minus 1 comes out to be 1. Right? So this is going to be the answer of this question. Simple. Now look at the next one. n value here is 3. In case of p subshell, l value is 1. So total number of nodes. Total number of nodes. Total number of nodes. If I talk about the total number of nodes, that is n minus 1. So 3 minus 1 comes out to be 2. Right? If I talk about the angular nodes, angular nodes will be the value of l, which is 1. Perfect. If I ask you about the spherical nodes, which is n minus l minus 1, which comes out B1. Perfect. So these are total nodes, angular nodes, spherical nodes. In case of 4D, n value here is 4. L value for the D subshell, that is 2. You should be knowing it now. Total number of nodes will be n minus 1. So 4 minus 1, 3. Uh, angular nodes is equal to the value of L. L value here is 2. Right. And if I talk about the spherical nodes, spherical node will be 1. And this is your homework question. So this is the first concept which is going to be short, short question asked in your upcoming NEET examination. Concept number one. <clears throat> concept number two. Question based on Gibbs free energy. There are a particular set of questions asked like this. Minimum temperature at which the process is spontaneous. For any process to be spontaneous, for any process to be spontaneous, delta G for the system at constant pressure and temperature has to be less than zero. Right? This is the criteria for spontaneity. For any process to be spontaneous, delta G for the system at constant pressure and temperature has to be negative. And you know delta G is nothing, that's delta H minus T delta S. For example, you have got this question. Have a look over here properly. My dear students, you are given with the process A to B, whose delta H is given, delta S is given. Minimum temperature at which this process becomes spontaneous. And you know for the process to be spontaneous, delta G has to be less than zero. Delta G is nothing, that is delta H minus T delta S. So this has to be negative, right? What is delta H? Delta H is 80 kilojoules, which means 80,000 joules, right? Minus T. What is delta S? Delta S is 2 times T. So 2 times T and it has to be less than 0. So if I do a bit of calculation, it has to be 80,000 minus 2T square has to be less than 0, right? So again, a bit of calculation is needed. So I can say, 80,000, 80,000 is less than 2t square or if I take the reciprocal, so 2t square has to be greater than 80,000. So that means t square has to be greater than 40,000, which is telling you that t has to be greater than what? t has to be greater than 200 Kelvin. So temperature of this particular reaction has to be greater than 200 Kelvin, then only the reaction, the process is going to be spontaneous. This is the procedure of solving this particular type of question. I believe it is clear to all of you. Looking at the third concept, 
maximum spectral lines obtained when the electron makes a transition from higher energy state to lower energy state how many maximum spectral lines can be obtained this is one more question my dear students this is the formula n2 minus n1 n2 minus n1 plus 1 divided by 2 let me tell you n2 is something which you call as higher energy state and n1 is what you call as lower energy state for example let's say the electron is making a transition from 6 to 1 6 to 1 so I would say this 6 is your higher energy state which is represented by n2 this is your lower energy state represented by n1 now the maximum spectral lines which will be obtained maximum spectral lines which will be obtained when the electron makes a transition from 6 to 1 it is n2 minus n1 so 6 minus 1 6 minus 1 multiplied by this is 6 minus 1 plus 1 divided by 2 right so this is going to be this and this cancel 6 5 30 30 divided by 2 15 so in total 15 spectral lines are obtained when the electron is making a transition from 6 to 1 now here also if they ask you here also if they ask you up out of these 15 spectral lines how many spectral lines will fall into the Lyman category into the Balmer category into the Pastian category what do you have to do I'm writing one more result over here number of spectral lines number of spectral lines falling number of spectral lines falling in a particular region in a particular region in a particular region it's always equal to higher energy state n2 minus ground state of that particular series which we are talking about what does it mean have a look what it means guys try to understand <clears throat> for example i need to check out of these 15 spectral lines how many fall in lyman category how many fall in lyman category it is going to be called n2 higher energy state that is 6 minus ground state of lyman is 1 so 6 minus 1 5 how many will fall into balmer category n2 higher energy state is 6 minus ground state of balmer ground state of balmer is 2 so 4 accordingly you can check all the other lines too lyman balmer pasture bracket fund perfect so this is one more short short question which is asked frequently in your neat examination so you can expect this sort of equation again this year okay one more equivalent weight of the substance undergoing disproportionation my dear students if you look at this particular reaction if i ask you the oxidation state of bromine here is zero oxidation state minus one of bromine here it is plus five see zero to minus one means decrease in the oxidation state zero to plus one plus five increase in the oxidation state and you know decrease in the oxidation state is what you call as a reduction increase in the oxidation state is what you call as oxidation so this particular species right is simultaneously undergoing oxidation as well as a reduction perfect so i would say this br2 is undergoing disproportionation now how do we calculate equivalent weight of that species which undergoes which undergoes what disproportionation perfect equivalent weight is calculated by the result that is molecular weight divided by n factor and how do we get the n factor this is how you get the n factor this is the result for it this is the result for it this is the result for it n1 n2 divided by n1 plus n2 my dear students now what is n1 what is n2 try to understand let me get the n1 value see 0 to minus 1 if i ask you what is the change in oxidation state final minus initial the value comes out to be 1 1 is a change for one atom but out 2 right so 1 multiplied by 2 is 2 now n2 n2 0 to plus 5 what is the change final minus initial the value comes out to be 5 5 is the change for one atom i have 2 so 5 twos are 10 so if i calculate the n factor it has to be n1 n2 divided by n1 plus n2 so what is n1 what is n2 10 twos are 20 divided by 10 plus 2 12 so this is 4 5 4 3 so 5 by 3 is the n factor of br2 and if 5 by 3 is the n factor of br2 it is going to be equal to molar mass divided by n factor which is 5 by 3 so equivalent mass is going to be 3m divided by 5 so i got the equivalent weight of br2 over here equal to as uh, 3m divided by 5 perfect so my dear students these were the four concepts right four concepts means four questions for sure which means 16 marks you are covering in this particular session so try to remember all of these things and all those th all those students who who are who have already made their mind of taking a drop or all those students who are going to enter into class 11th or all those students who are going to enter into class 12th my dear students on 17th of april on 17th of april we unacademy neat english team we are starting three new batches 
three new batches. Let me tell you, one is called as the Nimbus batch, which is for 10th moving into 11th students. One is called as Nexus batch, which is for 11th moving into 12th students. And one is for droppers. Basically, all those students have already made their mind of taking a drop. So all these three batches, we are starting on 17th of April on an academy platform, right? So in order to join any of these batches, there's a link in the description box of the video. And the cost of each batch over here is 4999 at this particular point of time, right? And my dear students, my dear students, this offer is only valid till 14th of April. So I would recommend all the students watching me right now, be it if you want to go into class 11th or class 12th or the dropper, right? There is a link in the description box. Click on that link and get added. Uh, take the plus subscription basically, right? And once you take the plus subscription, you will be having the excess of all these three batches which we are starting on the Unacademy platform from 17th of April. And you'll be trained by your teachers. That means us. And if you want to know the details of this of these particular batches, perfect. My dear students, yesterday I have taken one video, right? Please and please watch that particular video which I took yesterday, right? And after... Looking at that particular video, let me just show it to you. Let me just show it to you. Let me just show it to you. Uh, if I search here, Unacademy Neat English. If I search here, Unacademy Neat English. This is the Unacademy Neat English channel. In this particular video, if you go to the video categories, once you go to the video categories, there is a session which I took yesterday, right? This particular session. Over here, I've given the details of all these three batches, complete details of all these three batches. Right? You need to check this video and you'll get the idea of what these three bats are all about. But it is highly recommended to get enrolled as soon as possible because the seats are filling really fast. Right? So with this, I'll be taking a leave. I hope this session you found beneficial. So God bless you all and take care guys. See you in the next session. Bye-bye.